Hello everyone, teacher here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Raids Chapter 3. We had our second attempt at it, it's still going on, there's like an hour left. And I specifically want to focus a little bit on the point score, because I had someone from the guild actually messaging me how I managed to do so well with my uh, Rivendell squad. And also I want to focus on Gondor now that we actually have Denethor available. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So I want to start off here with my score. Um, I had a pretty good score with my elves, they improved. I took Lomian up to level 40, leveled some of his abilities, and I had a 50k increase. I didn't have a lot of time, so I didn't retry for the 900k that we saw Sleeper here get with Nuras. The troll summons are really great in this. So I just accepted uh, above 800. Actually, I would have accepted above 750, and then I got this run was close to 900 and I'm pretty sure I can do 900. It's um, it's just a small things. And Eladen is well on his way to 7 star, he's 50 out of 300 and Arwen is also a little bit behind. I'm not as lucky with the shards on her but that's pretty okay because Eladen is the one that is the... I would label him the best plug and play character at the moment in raids overall. Haradrim got to 500 they hadn't like I didn't really change that much with them um, the trick is actually you would prefer someone like uh, I don't know if you had one of them being a bit tanky my three are a bit squishy but what you would then like is that you use Robel and Wubite their provokes to change the mark because once they provoke they remove marked mechanic like, they don't remove um, captured stacks on the one who has marked before, but they take the mark and then you can swap it around. And the best part about it, you have two cleanses in here, and this dawned on me a little bit last time, last uh, raid. You have two cleanses in here, you can actually cleanse quite a bit from some members, and not everyone has Banes on them. So you can actually help your team reset, and you have to have pretty nice damage, and you don't get that many Banes on you, that means you have a lot of crit chance. So 500k, I would have accepted uh, 450-ish and above, so I'm really happy with that. And many people here have scored good, that's really great. And then we want to go here, because this is the team that's currently in development. I went with a Denethor lead, Faramir is level 40. I believe I made Boromir, 50, uh, Boromir, Boromir is 50, I think then Thor is 55, my Halberat, and then I went with a level 20 Legolas. And the reason why I went with Legolas is because he gets nimble, that means he gains some evade points, and he is just overall speedy. And I predicted last time that we were gonna hit 85k, I was really hoping for that, we did that, and we've even gone above and beyond. As for the whole three chapters, we have improved our score by basically 8.5 million. I would say 8 billion, because I don't remember fully, but around 8, 8 million in one in less than a week. That's pretty well done. And I know some people have asked me, what guild am I a part of? I'm not a leader, I'm just an officer. I am part of DK Crew. We are... We have free-to-play people in here that actually does really well, and the free-to-play, they listen to what everyone else has to say, and spenders get to spend, and like sometimes in some of the places, free-to-play are matching up pretty good with some of the spenders, because it also depends what you build. Now, before we go and talk Gondor, I actually want to talk something really important, and that is the Road to Rivendell. You guys know I love Road to Rivendell. Road to Rivendell is great for Chapter 1, they are not as great for chapter 3, because there is currently a bug with Frodo and Sam not getting the stealth from Strider. And you would basically need them fully invest. They need a lot more to score well in chapter 3 than they do in chapter 1. Chapter 2, they are also working okay due to speed and everything, but yeah, they really shine in chapter 1. So, just to mention, because I have spoken about them a lot and I, they are a very good uh, free-to-play squad, I just want people to be aware that there is some um, issues with them in Chapter 3, so be advised. Because I have... Uh, it would be remiss of me to not mention it, because I have spoken so highly of them and I think they're still worthy to be one of your five main teams. Um, 
Then, just before we go to the Gondor, I want to, uh, the Haradrim, they are actually okay in, better than okay in a chapter 3, because they, again, they can swap. Like, if we go and have a look at Robel, actually, you can actually also gain defensive. Like, you only get provoke and then you gain defensive, but it's a free turn cooldown. Sorry, my mic is uh, making a little bit of noise. And then here you gain two stack of provoke, so you can basically swap them around. I will try to get some uh, footage next time because I I'm looking a little bit like this with Bane's and sometimes I have seen it again cleansing a full stack uh, like seven ca seven capture stacks I've seen them cleanse something like that I believe it's Bekelu actually that does it oh also I decided to make my Haratrim level five spend some green materials I had like 93 now I have 83. Simply because I wanted that 5% block chance. And it worked out. I increased my score. Um, I didn't reach 200, but I increased with like 100k or something like that. And overall, I have now in the three chapters combined, I just broke 5 million. I just, just broke 5 million. And that is really great. When you are getting to the um, fourth chapter, and let's say you want to go for the full chest in the long run. Basically, what you need is five teams, max difficulty to score 300k in all four chapters. And chapter one is easy to score in. They will also change it so you can score higher. That means you can even out. But on average, you need per chapter 1.5 million. You need every guild member to do that. That will get you chest four. So, and that is 15 Gandalf shards. So cheer up it will happen eventually people improve over time i just reached my five i will not i will now st start focusing focusing a little more on chapter one because i'm close to getting my gandalf shards it's aoe it's a little bit luck dependent but also because gondor actually works well there so gondor is the team i will focus on because they basically work well for every single uh, chapter so that is what I would do because it gives me the most score increase per chapter. Maybe I could do Road to, uh, Road to Rivendell for just chapter one, but that would weaken me a little bit for the next chapters. And so it's a little bit hit and miss. So, but I have decided to go here. And the reason why I went Denethor a little bit up in health is because I, they seem to target him a lot and he kept dying. So I just uh, upped him some levels, and now he could actually survive on difficulty free. One thing that's really great about Denethor, except his leader ability, it will be amazing. If you had the uh, money and XP investment, then I would actually suggest you do a full Gondor squad for difficulty free in chapter 3. If you don't, you could go with a Herondil. He will also be great for chapter 1. And that would give you on Boromir, because he's the one who's going to be the main tank, but he's going to be able to swap it thanks to Denethor Basic, that grants Provoke. Here he gains a 15% pluck chance, and yeah, he has nothing. So 15% block, and if you did a full team, then you would get another 50 on top of that. That means 55, uh, 65. Now, I will, of course, do this because I have the ability for it, so I will do it. But if we then remove Herondil and we remove um, Ara as well, he will be at 45. It's okay. It's not that much. Maybe in some time I will level Herondil up, but I'm not going to do that, and I will get back to that in just a minute. So now I need to get my XP up and running. I could do Boromir and Denethor to level 60, or at least one of them, but what I really want to do I'll tell you what I really want to do. I'll tell you what I want, as they sang it back in the 90s. I want to make Faramir level 60. And the reason why I want to make Faramir level 60 is because I want to be able to unlock this. Always assist during stealth when a Gondor or a Ranger ally attacks the target with a Bane. That is basically for chapter 2. And also then we can up this, and that will be great for the chapter 1 will be great for chapter 3 as well. Not as much, but it is nice because then you can swap around with some stills. You can do the provoke from um, 
Denethor that basically swapped the marks around that's uh, uh, to provokes and then swap the marks around that will help you a lot also his immunity is actually really really good because immunity uh, when someone blocks like let's say Boromir blocks then and they have immunity uh, no they block then they get immunity then when they get hit they don't get increased amount of stacks that means you could technically swap that around uh, with a high block chance on the Gondor members. Also, this works on himself, so he can make himself a tank. And he's doing pretty okay HP-wise and stuff like that. So I would do the the Faramir, Boromir, and Denethor. And then what I will also do, I'll show it to you here. You guys know I've talked about it. I will actually do Rangers. Halberad, I will max him. When I have the abilities. Because Eagle Eye. Attacks cannot miss or be blocked. That means Faramir can do an auto assist. Without it being blocked on the troll. And with a lead. Because you don't need the block on the troll. It's more important to take care of his stacks. Than it is to block and be immune to his stun. Because he just gets out of control with his stacks. When a ranger member receives Eagle Eye. Always grant advantage, guaranteeing crit on next attack. Now, I don't think it's stacks. Um, I think even their assist attack, it actually takes it there. But still, that's okay. So, because then you do get one crit per turn. And also, his special 2 here is actually really good. Uh, grant deadly to all ranger squad members. And that would mean himself, plus Miri, and Faramir. And Faramir with that... Increased chance is really good and can't miss. That's 40%. Miri, we know Bleed is amazing on the troll. It really, really helps. Here you gain stealth. That means you can also swap some marks, actually. So let's say you get her to take the first hits in the in the chapter 3. She's stealthy. She can stealth in many different ways. She does AoE damage. Uh, here she grants Eagle Eye again. She ignores armor, that's good for the troll. And she gives you resistance, not bad, not bad. You, you can, and you can actually resist um, the uh, the marked mechanic, you can actually resist. I don't know if you can resist the capture, but you can resist the mark. And overall, she weakened for the troll, that's really good. That's why like I was considering building Herondale first and, and then building her later. But that will take too long time, so I'm actually going to be building Miri. Because Wigan, you can either do that, or you can do Enfeeble with the uh, Herondale. I'd rather have a 50% damage decrease, than I would have a crit chance decrease, because this is flat. This is just reduced to troll damage. That means you can stay alive longer. Pretty nice. So that's what I'm going to be doing with my Gondor squad, and I really, really like it. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, basically, for the troll for Chapter 2, 300k, which I want, is I just need this. And um, I was really missed the average Joe on the Denethor chest. I pulled 8. I got the 7, 17s, and then a 12, so I just had that one extra shard. But yeah, I bought the gems. Uh, I bought Helverod today. And maybe around next week-ish, a week from now, he, if I'm lucky, he might be, he might be five star, or maybe Friday next week he will be five star. I'm really looking forward to that. Elden going well. Strider, I plan to invest into him, but I'm, I'm waiting on the road to Rivendell because I want to build up this Gondor squad as I feel it has more value. And if you're asking what am I mainly focusing on I want to be focusing on getting to 2.6 million in chapter 1 because that is where you get 6 Gandalf shards per raid and then I will be focusing on chapter 3 at the same time I'm close to 2 million I got 940 1,940,000 I think so I'm also pretty close there and a Gondor squad can help me there with a few hundred K points around the next raid so if I am lucky with and I have the time, I will I should be able to get a Gandalf shard in chapter three next time. 
And my Lomian, I believe I said he was level 50, but actually he isn't. I just did him level 40 and he works so well. And then I leveled some of his abilities. He works really well. I know people say Neremiri, level 40, gear 5, can get you 900k easily. If you want to build Neremiri, that's on you. I think that's really awesome that she can do it. And this is a big thumbs up to Neremiri. I don't hate her. I'm just saying I don't have the resources to prio her and I want Lomian for my chapter 2. That's all I say. Neremiri apparently is great for chapter 3, so if you want that, then go ahead and do it by all means. I am not trying to persuade you. I'm just saying for me, I built this Lomian dude because I know there's going to be a single target boss in chapter 4. And there's also going to be a single target boss in chapter 2, which there already is. That's why I'm building Lomian, because we don't know the conditions for Chapter 4, but I would imagine Lomian, again, has some usage. Also, his evade is actually pretty use usable. And the fact that he can die, he can uh, counterattack, and also he gains some crit, that's just great. And he can have might. So overall, I was really happy with the raid. Big shout out. Oh yeah, I keep having this offer. Until I already talked about I wish there was a bulk offer and they just... I've had this for like two to three weeks now. This was a little bit long video. Apologize for that. But basically this is what I'm going to be focusing on for the future. How I can progress as my squad's level. And again, I will say gear 7 is more than enough. Go to, um, it costs a lot to make gear 8. Get a full team gear 7. Then you could make gear 8, but get your 5 teams, gear 7, uh, put them up level so you can do difficulty 2 at a max. Don't really worry about chapter 2 that much because that is hard. It's way easier to get your good score in chapter 1 and chapter 3, so focus on those. I hope there will be small fix to the troll because it is really heavy. But overall, just make sure you enjoy the game. Use the squad you want. And enjoy the game. For me, Rivendell, Road to Rivendell, Heradrim, Gondor Ranger, Rohan. That's my five teams. And that's because I can afford to spend on it. Free to play, I would say Rivendell, Road to Rivendell, Rohan. Eeh, I don't know the last two, but when I do, I will make a video. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next one.